Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design the two syringe fixtures seen here. All right, and these syringe fixtures essentially just hold our syringes in place. So let's go ahead and get started. Come on up to file and let's start a new design. So let's come on up here to our sketch and let's create a sketch here on our XY plane. We're gonna draw out a circle here with a diameter of 0.126 inches, a very small circle. So we're gonna zoom in and then we're gonna draw out another circle here with a distance of 0.25 inches. Okay, and then we're gonna finish our sketch and we're gonna extrude this outer circle here a distance of 1.48 inches. Go ahead and select okay. Okay, so when you're done, you have like sort of this hollow cylinder looking thing. Now let's come on over here to our origin and find our XZ plane and we're going to do a plane offset from it minus 0.1 inches and hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and start a sketch here on that plane. Okay. And then we're going to draw out a couple of circles here. Okay, so we're going to come on over here. I'm going to draw out a circle with a diameter of 0.65 inches. Okay, I'm going to make another circle that's concentric to this one. So I'm going to start here at the center. I'm going to drag out another circle with a diameter of 0.8 inches. Now let's come on over here to create and we're going to project some geometry. So I'm going to click here. Actually, let's click the body and just click there and hit OK. All right, and now we're going to dimension the center of our circle from this edge to be a distance of 0.375 inches. Enter. And if you recall, we made this distance here 1.48 inches. And we want to center our circles now. So to do that, we're going to come up to dimension. And we're going to click from this edge to the center here. And we're going to make that 1.48 divided by 2. And that'll nicely center our circles now so that they are 0.74 inches from both sides. And now that we're done, we can go ahead and finish our sketch. And now we're going to go ahead and extrude. And we got to be careful here because we want to make sure we select this circle and this little circle right here. And we want to come over here to one side and select symmetric. And then we're going to click here on whole length and we're going to do a distance of 0.6 inches both ways. And we're going to make be sure we select join and select OK. All right. So when you're done, you have something that looks like this. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip it around here to the bottom. So we're going to do a sketch here on this surface right here. Okay, and then we're going to drag out a circle. Actually, let's go ahead. Well, let's just drag out a circle right here. And we want that distance to be, or diameter to be 0.45. Enter. Let's make sure they're concentric now. So I'm going to click here and click here. It looks like we're good. Okay, now I'm going to finish my sketch. And we are going to extrude out now this part, this part, and we're going to do that a distance of 0.625 inches. I'm sorry, 0 0.0625 inches and make sure it says join and select OK. All right. All right. Looking pretty good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and add a fillet right here where these two meet. So right there and we're going to make that fillet distance 0.125 inches. All right, and this will give us a nice, good, strong connection between our two cylinders here. Let's go ahead and select OK. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start a sketch right here on this face. OK, and we're going to come on up here and we're going to grab a center rectangle. Actually, let's do, let's uh, come down and project some geometry first. So I'm going to project some geometry and select OK. Now let's come on down and grab a center rectangle. And I'm going to come here to my center point and I'm going to move out to this and I'm going to just drag out a center rectangle, something that looks like that. And we want to dimension this distance right here to be 0.125 inches. And then we're going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude and cut away uh, everything here. So we're going to go all the way through. You could just do a distance of all. Okay. And then select OK. 
and so now we have sort of this slot going down the middle here. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and start a sketch right here. And we're going to drag out a square. We're going to find this corner right here. And we're going to drag out a square, something that looks like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. And then we're going to dimension its thickness now to be 0.125. Same thing on this side. 0.125. And then uh, we're going to dimension this whole length now to be 0.376. And the same thing over here. 0.376. Enter. And we are good to go. Now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to go ahead and extrude this distance and this distance. And we're going to go the other way. A distance of uh, minus 0.663 inches. Hit enter. Okay. Now let's come on up here to fill it and we're going to put on these corners here a fillet with a distance of 0.125. Hit OK. Now we're going to start a sketch right here on this surface and we're going to drag out a circle here and we're going to make that circle diameter to be 0.125 inches. And now we need to specify where we want this circle and so from here to here we want this distance to be 0.2 and then from our top edge to here we want this distance to be 0.25. Enter. All right, now we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch and we're going to extrude our circle here all the way through so it cuts through all and hit OK. And we're going to be placing a bolt through here later to clamp down on our syringe. And finally we're going to add a couple of fillets here so our syringe slides in with ease. We're going to make this fillet size 0.04. All right, and then we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to come on over here, and we're going to add a fillet here, and a fillet here, and we're going to make those fillet sizes 0.125. Hit OK. And the last fillet here we're going to make is right on this edge, right there, and we're going to make that guy 0 0.03 inches. Select OK, and then finally, let's, as we always do, let's give it a physical material. So I'm going to come down to plastic and since we'll be 3D printing this, we'll just select ABS plastic. Okay. And then let's change the appearance here so that it's, I'm going to give it a black color. So I'm going to go to paint glossy and give it a nice shiny glossy black hit close. All right. So now we have something that looks just like this when you're all finished. Now go ahead up to file and let's go ahead and save this guy. I'm going to call it syringe fixture. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and select save. So we made the syringe fixture. We made this one, but now we need to make this one and it's going to be pretty easy. So let's come back to our syringe fixture here. And to make the other one, we're going to start a sketch right here. And we're just going to come on up to project. Let's come on over here to specified entities. Click there and click there and hit OK. Now we're going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude those projected geometries and we're going to go a distance of minus 0.25 and we're going to do that on the other side. You can also mirror it if you want but sometimes it's just easier to, to quickly sketch it out. So go to create once again project geometry click there and click that line hit OK finish sketch extrude and once again minus 0.25 inches and hit Okay, and now I'm going to save this as something else. So it's very important that you save this as the syringe fixture base. Okay, because it's going on the bottom part of our hydraulic claw. So go ahead and select save. And we're good. We made both of them now. We made this one right here. And then we just made the one for our base. Okay, so that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.